Yo, what's up, guys? All right, let's see how everything is going through. Yo, what's up, Chuck Chuck Potatoes? How you doing, man? God damn, this shit scared me. <laughs> Wait, let me let me lower the freaking volume. And let me come here. Yo, who's excited? Who the hell is excited for uh Horizon Forbidden West, dude? Cause I bro, I'm so I'm super excited for this game. I'm super excited for this game, and I, I'm watching, you know, how how the landscapes look jesus christ man this game is honestly freaking incredible i mean how it looks at least and hopefully the gameplay looks absolutely stunning uh, what's up luna how you doing how you doing uh chow chow potatoes hoping for a release date dude exactly i am hoping for a freaking release date like i honestly cannot wait to see if that's the case if that's gonna happen today uh hopefully it does um and and hopefully man uh Hopefully they can say that it's going to be around, what, like September or October? Hopefully that would be a great, you know, point. Or by the end of the summer, you guys imagine that? Because if they're going to show gameplay, does that mean that they might be ready to possibly say that this game is almost ready? Because this game looks absolutely incredible, like, by how I'm seeing it right now. I don't know, man. Um, Raiden X Knights, hello there. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? How you doing? Let me know in the chat who's excited for um, for this game, because I'm for sure I am, and I cannot wait to see uh, what they have in store for us. The first game I absolutely loved, and I I don't know. I mean, it's not like the best game I've ever played, but it was immersive to a certain point. Um, and as an original IP, as a first game, I actually say it was a solid like eight out of ten, um, out of enjoyment for sure. Like that's well, that, that's me at least. Um, Luna is so excited, man. Yeah, man, man. I'm super excited as well, man. Ice Ice Baby, this was unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> and th honestly, this was unexpected. Like, right now, I'm on... Um, I'm on, on a little break from my job. So, basically, you know, I'm just taking... Instead of just chilling and doing nothing, I'll just stream this with you guys and see what's up. Because usually they do, like, 15 minutes, 15 minute gameplay, I think. So I have like a 30 minute break so I can do that um, and hopefully I'll, I'll if I'm going to extend a little bit m more after that then we'll have a, like a little conversation after for like 10 more minutes and then I'll end the stream. Um, but yeah, what, what are you guys predictions for all of this? Um, what do you think they're going to show us? Uh, are they going to show us the landscapes and um, how the open world is going to be? Uh, or are they going to show us like core like new core mechanics? Uh, what do you think is gonna happen with uh, with this gameplay reveal? Um, Cause I know there's not, they're not gonna put any story elements in it, uh, but possibly uh, they're gonna show, hopefully, at least new gameplay mechanics and and how it feels different from um, Horizon Zero Dawn. And I don't know. I, I hope there's other ways to ride the mechanical like um, animals and stuff. That would be actually a pretty nice thing um, to see. Um, but let me see, uh, Leonardo, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, Luna says, I mean, how, uh, I mean, how goes the story from Alloy? Yeah, I mean, I want to see how it goes from here on. Um, Ice Ice Baby, I want to ride, uh, Stormbirds. That would be, that would be absolutely amazing. Same, I want to fly. Yeah, man, I, I want to fly, dude. I hope, I hope they, I, I hope they, they put this in here. But now that I'm thinking about it, it's also going to come out for the PlayStation 4. Um, and the PlayStation 4 is significantly, you know, weaker from the PlayStation 5. So, I don't know what's going to happen there. <laughs> um, uh, I'm really happy that if you guys don't have a PlayStation 5, you guys are gonna actually going to get to play this. So, I'm really happy for that. The only thing I'm just a little bit concerned is to see if, if the PlayStation 4 kind of pulls it back to its full potential. Um, but, I don't know. I, 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 that's just probably... That's probably me going way too far. Um, but, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Raiden, have you played Devil May Cry 5? No, I haven't, dude. I I have played the first one, Devil May Cry, um, but I never actually got into the series, man. I don't, I don't know why 
Um, I don't know why I just never got super interested into it. Um, I think one of my, I think my friends, no, no, sorry, my cousins played Devil May Cry. Um, and I think they've played all five. I don't know if there's even more than that, because I'm not that interested in the franchise. Um, but I should try it, because there's a lot of people that tell me that it's pretty good. Um, so it's just probably me being a dick here. I'm not, you know, I'm not, um playing these great games I, like i said I, I i in one of my previous videos i've said that i've lost my 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 like my hunger and my my passion for gaming um right after i played the last of us part part one in 2013 so it was like a good chunk of time that i kind of lost and also when i was a kid for some reason my parents didn't let me play too many violent video games so shout out to my grandma <laughs> shout out to my grandma who literally would drive me to games uh gamestop and would buy me all these like you know the uh, rated M for mature games and stuff. Um, she she would come up the with the clutch, man. Like she would be like, "Hey, so your dad doesn't let you, but I'll scoop it up here." And she, yeah, she's she's the goat. She she used to do all those little things for me. Yeah, my dad for some reason never liked liked me playing um, games that had guns and everything. So I kind of ha always had to hide it from him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, that's that's me, man. AP Grandma, exactly, man. AP Grandma is the goat. Is the goat, man. Hopefully, yo, she's, I love her. Like, she's one of the best human beings I've ever, ever, ever known. Um, I used to be super obsessed with my grandma. Yeah, she, she used to always come clutch for me, man. Um, Ray Tracing Baby, yep. Hey, Ahmad, hello. What's up, man? How you doing, man? How you doing? I hope everybody is doing great in the chat. Um, if everybody, I think there's like 16 people here. If you guys can, please leave a like in the, in the stream. So I guess more people can, you know, come to the stream. And if there's other people in the channel, you guys may know, send it to all of them. Let's have a great time, um, reacting to the gameplay of Horizon Zero Dawn. Ah, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, let's just have some fun and just, you know, hit that like button and help me out with that, guys. It's free and I really appreciate it. Um, did you see the new Dying Light 2 gameplay? I did not see it because I'm work. I was basically working like right now. I, I, I did like a really quick stream, so I'm trying uh, to catch up on all these things. But I did see the announcement, and I hope. Ho you know what? I'll probably react to it after this, the gameplay and everything. Hopefully, um, hopefully it's good. I've heard good things that it looks nice and everything. Um, hopefully, man, I can't wait to play that game, and I still have to. Um, I want to replay Dying Light 1 because I, I remember it's one of my favorite zombie games in a while. Like, it, it takes the good things about um, Dead Island that I loved um, and it scraps all the bad shit from that game. So, Dying Light is amazing and I can't wait uh, to play this game. I, I heard it has a release date uh, for the end of the year, if I'm not mistaken. So, so yeah, man. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can come through that. I'm, probably I'm going to buy it for the PC. I don't know if I should buy it for the PC or the PlayStation 5. Because um, right now I have an RTX 2070. Uh, and it's still good. I just don't know if, you know, if, if it will give me the best performance or at least give me the same performance that might uh, be on the PlayStation 5. So we'll, we'll see. I'll ho hopefully, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll do my little research there. Um, Raiden, Devil May Cry 1 and 2, 4 were meh, but uh, Devil May Cry 5 is really awesome. Probably one of the best action games. Damn, man. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I want to try it, dude. I really want to try it. I hope, hopefully, um, one of these days. I have so many games. So many games I have to try, man. It's so hard to keep it up because, you know, I'm married. I have my son and everything. And um, it's just a really, really, you know... I management is crazy for me, so I, I gotta I gotta see when I can sit down and play games. Like that's I wish I could just sit down and play games, man, but kind of hard sometimes. Um, let me see. Uh, Raiden uh, Knight says, "Man, you're so underrated." Yo, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you, man. I ho hopefully you know one day with the help of you guys, we can push this channel forward and um, you know get more in depth into content that you know we might that I might like, and hopefully you guys like it as well. You know that that would be great. Uh, I would like to expand you, you see myself into more topics topics about other games that I really enjoy. Hopefully, hopefully we can do that for the future. But I, I really appreciate that comment, man. Sid Pie, what's up, man? How you doing, man? It's been a while, man. It's been a freaking while, bro. How are you doing? Um, I I'd love to a I'd love to be able to use the weapons and traverse the land, for example, using the rope caster and create zip lines. If it still uses the same engine as Death Stranding, then it's certainly possible. Hmm, interesting, man. Uh, Mandolin, 
Uh, have you finished Resident Evil? I've noticed you stream like the first hours or so. Yeah, I, I'm almost finishing it. Like I said, it's it's really hard for me to play all these games that I'm planning into, you know, playing and stuff. Um, it's really hard for me sometimes to to do it. Um, but yes, I'm in. I'm almost finishing it. Uh, hopefully, I can have like a mini review for it for you guys. Um, but it's kind of you know weird sometimes uh, with the time that I have. I work a lot on other things. And I, you know, do YouTube in uh, my spare time, so it's kind of, you know, a little bit difficult. But hopefully, hopefully I can finish it soon. Um, but what did you think about it, Mandolin? Did you like uh, uh, Resident Evil Village? How was it for you? Um, Korush. Bro, I'm sorry if I'm misspelling your name, bro, but Korush RM7. Are you interested in the upcoming um, Harry Potter? Mm, Harry Potter's never been like one of my go-to's for entertainment. I don't know why. I, I just never liked Harry Potter. Um, but I wouldn't. It wouldn't hurt to try it. You know. It, I I want to see if I might like it. <laughs> I guess you know. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see, man. Uh, Sid Pie, also congrats on one year. Yo, thank you, man. Yeah, man. In one year, this channel has gotten seven thousand subscribers. That's insane. Like that's. Like it, it, I, it's something. It, sometime, <laughs> sometimes it just feels so unreal, man. It, like the journey of, like getting my first 100. I remember it was the hardest thing ever, and and now I have what 7,000 people that are subscribed. Um, and you know how YouTube works. Like even though I have 7,000 people, sometimes um, only 20% or 25% actually see the content because they get notified. Uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't notified, if you guys haven't hit that uh, notification bell, do because if you do miss my video sometimes, that's one of the reasons why. So, um, but yeah, man, hopefully we can turn this, you know, little part time thing, this little hobby that I have here into something bigger. And it's all thanks to you guys. It really, really is, guys. You, you guys are li literally the best. Um, and right now, if you, I think there's like 21 people, if you guys can't just hit that like button for me, uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Um, it's one of the best ways to support this stream and the channel. And hopefully we can, you know, push this forward uh, for more people to see. Uh, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Um, Sid Pai, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, was busy with uh, university. Damn, bro. Uh, applications, but I'm free now. Uh, finally dedicated on the UK and got offer from Manchester. Yo, that is so good, bro. And you know, my favorite uh, football team is in Manchester, Manchester United. I don't know if you know that, but uh, hopefully, hopefully you get it, bro. And um, and I've heard good things about Manchester. Manchester is a nice city. It's small. I mean, I can't wait to go there one day, um, but the culture is great over there. And if you love football, whew, you're those people in Manchester are crazy, so <laughs> so I hope you have fun if you ever get into Manchester, bro. Uh, Raiden, uh, play one game at a time the way you will have a lot of fun. Yeah, man, I'm trying. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to just... I have to finish Resident Evil Village. It's just, it's just really... I have a congested schedule, and there's a lot of things I gotta do, but hopefully hopefully I get there. Hopefully I get there. Uh, Ice Ice Baby, Uncharted 4 is so good. The Last of Us Part 2 is my number two now. It's that good. Dude, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I mean, how can I get mad at you for that, bro? Like, literally, Uncharted 4 is a masterpiece. It's a freaking masterpiece. It's one of the best games I've ever played in my life. And if there's people that say and like that game more than The Last of Us Part 2, that's fine, bro. I mean, if you like whatever game, if you if you like Knack, that's fine, bro. I mean, it's it's all up to you and what you like. You just gotta, you just gotta have fun with that, man. Uh, your channel deserves 7,000 subs, at least, though. Bruh, come on, bro. Nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, bro. Hopefully one day we can make it up there. Um, and like I said, it's it stinks to you guys, and it stinks to you guys, you know, supporting the channel a lot. You guys are literally the best, so. Like, just m make sure you guys know that it's it's because of you guys. And, and yeah, man, you, you guys are the best. You guys are the freaking best. Uh, man, you, yeah... Uh, you spoke a bunch about it in the last of the streams. Yeah, man. I'm sorry you're a United fan. They played terribly last night. Yeah, man. Bro, don't re- Bro. I, I was so fucking mad when we lost yesterday. Because we lost to a 7th place team in freaking La Liga. Like, the, the Spanish League is nowhere close to the freaking English leagues, man. It, it's so fucking frustrating. I was so mad. I hit my table twice and my keyboard went everywhere. I, I, bruh. <laughs> 
I never get mad. You guys know that. But, you know, I, it's, I couldn't take it, bro. Well, I think the stream started, so let's see what they have in store for us. Thanks, Chop Chop. Uh, do I play indie games? What's your favorite? Um, I'll, I'll respond to you later on. So we're going to focus on this first and then we'll go from there. <laughs> Yo, come on, come on. Hi everyone, my name is Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Last year we revealed our ambitious new project, and since then the team has continued to make great progress on the development of the game. Wait, is we it are delayed? We very excited and honored to give you an update in this state of play. I think it's delayed. Play. And in the countdown oh, okay. video leading it's up that, to this not moment, me. you have already not me, seen glimpses right? of the Forbidden West. It's out of but sync, delay. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. So Almost it's not me. 14 minutes of gameplay me. captured on PlayStation 5. And you don't have to wait any minutes of gameplay captured on PlayStation 5. There we go. And you don't have Thank to wait you, any longer. Let's get right to it. I'm not going to lie, I used to hate the last of us part 2, but finished it yesterday and I can say that it was real empathy. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, bro. Come on. Easy, easy. It's okay. Ah, Aloy. You're safe now. Love that girl. Wait, what happened? Where's Aaron? Ambush. Ruins of crawling with raiders. They hit our camp hard. Yo, the graphics. They chased us down. The graphic looks good, man. Away from camp. Scouting. I bet he's still out there. What was that? Raiders got machines on their side. Claw Striders. You should go after Aaron. Yo. If they find him before you do, who knows what they'll do to him. The acting is so right. improved. You're injured. I have to... Uh, don't worry about compared, me. Compared I'll to the way, way you... Way out. Sorry. Get going. Compared to how you did dialogue back in Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. this is so uh, improved. Like, like mega improved. It, it feels more cinematic, finally. Jesus Christ, dude. It looks so amazing. What are raiders doing in these ruins? And you know what's the most amazing thing about this? Okay. That this is 1080p super compressed because it's a stream. Imagine when they put the 4K gameplay out there. Oh my god. God damn. Yo, is it just me? Or does it feel like Uncharted? Like, you know, like 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 the linear sections, but this is like an open world game. So good. Up we go. Oh, maybe I can lose him in here. These guys won't 
give up. Wow. It looks like Cameron's avatar. A little bit, right? Wow. Yo, absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Yo, this feels like Uncharted. Like, no lie. I mean, not, not like Uncharted, but it's just a feeling. Like, like the cinematic feeling compared to the first game. I have friends, and, okay? And that's not a bad thing to say. The ones you slaughtered. But when they come looking for me, there's gonna be oh, I, lo I love this drunk Someone. asshole. said they were heading for the old bridge. Maybe I can cut them off. Better get to higher ground, find a way. Okay. There's the bridge. I 
think I know a way to get there fast. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, you bet. Uh, uh, I owe you another one. Come on. Uh, well, this time, I have a present for you. Oh, oh. I found it, Emily. Huh? What'd you send me for? Right before the Raiders got me. You did it good. I was gonna say no. a dirty joke, but, but no. Let's see where this thing will take us. That a storm was coming. Yeah, and it's almost here. Bro, I was getting immersed already. What? Oh, wow. So there you have it. The first wow. gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West running on PlayStation 5. We hope you are as excited about it as we are. We are. We freaking are.
While we have you here, we would like to spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. And to help with that, please welcome Ben McCaw, Narrative Director on Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks, Matthijs, and hello to all our viewers. Horizon Forbidden West is set a thousand years in Earth's future, after a global catastrophe. People live on in primitive tribes, but they're no longer the dominant species. Giant, animal-like machines now roam the land, and they are extremely dangerous. The machines aren't the only threat in the Forbidden West. A strange red blight is spreading across the land, and it won't be long before it strangles all life. Aloy, our hero, is the only one who can stop the blight. But to do that, she and her companions will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. In this quest, Aloy has sent her loyal friend Erend into the remains of San Francisco to find a crucial piece of technology. Erend encounters raiders from a rebel faction of the Tanakh tribe. Wait. They are vicious fighters, so but even means... worse, they've acquired the power to override machines. So that means we're going to go to over the United Arend, States? Aloy winds up fighting them. But first, she must cross the ruins to reach their camp. We face a lot of obstacles as we traverse the ruins of San Francisco. To overcome them, we've given Aloy some great new tools. Using the focus scanner, you can highlight spots that allow free climbing anywhere in the open world. Oh, wow. The pull caster speeds up climbing and can get you quickly out of trouble. The shield wing allows you to safely descend from great heights or surprise enemies from above. I love With that. With the diving mask, you can stay submerged as long as you like and take your time to plan a path around amphibious machines or boost through strong underwater currents. And to speed up overland travel, a variety of machines can be overridden and used as mounts or in combat. Combat in Horizon Forbidden West puts a strong emphasis on tactics and player choice. For close range combat, the spear is an excellent option. There's a range of combos that have different uses and effects. Valor Surges add a unique set of special abilities, one of which can be used to knock back nearby enemies. The spear can be charged to create a high damage effect that can take down even the stronger enemies. A wide array of different weapons is quickly accessible via the weapon wheel. A slingshot with adhesive grenades to temporarily stall machines. Bows with arrows that can strip armor and expose weak spots. A powerful launcher that fires spikes that explode on impact. Smoke bombs that temporarily blind enemies. Or you can pick up weapons shot off from machines. The full game has many more unique weapons and each of them can be upgraded on a workbench. But more on that another time. The player will need to be smart and creative and use all of the combat options we have shown to deal with a large variety of deadly machines. Sun wings in the sky, claw striders and tremor tusks on land, step moss in the water, even the seemingly harmless burrowers that you saw briefly swim by. They are all dangerous and even more so when overridden by human rebels. We've only scratched the surface of the rebel threat as Aloy will fight them in many forms throughout the game. And to defeat them, she must explore the open world to uncover the secret behind their power, and how that secret is related to her quest to stop the blight. And this is just one of the mysteries she will unravel as her journey through the Forbidden West takes many twists and turns. It's time to wrap it up. We will have more updates close to launch, and everyone here at Guerrilla can't wait for you to experience the full game. Thank you for watching. Oh man, PlayStation exclusive. PlayStation. So it's confirmed for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Woo, Doc. Man, okay. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna stay in the stream for a little while for you guys. Uh, Jesus Christ, that's a long ass. All right, let me let me put it here. There we go. Okay. So, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about this? Because I, um, I seriously, I seriously think this has the potential to surpass the first game, in my opinion. Um, of course, you know, they're, 
pushing us to the west, uh, to some parts of California. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, and this is and this is what compressed uh, from 1080p. Um, and it doesn't look as good, right? Because it's a stream. I mean, it, it's usually like that. So imagine when uh, PlayStation just releases this, you know, this little gameplay clip uh, on with 4K, hopefully 60 FPS. Bruh. <laughs> like, like, this game looks absolutely incredible and so fun. It, it, I was so immersed. I didn't want it to end. Like, that's how good it is. And it's really hard uh, for games that I'm not playing myself to make me feel this way. It looks really, really fun. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they, 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 um, I don't want to spoil anything. So if you guys haven't played Horizon Zero Dawn, I'm not going to spoil anything right now in this stream, but I, hopefully it, um, it goes a little bit with what happened in the ending of the first game. Um, I don't know. I, I think that's what they're going to do, but it just looks so great. What do you, what do you guys think? Let me know in, in the chat, um, before I, of course I leave, um, cause I got to go back to work. Uh, I'm going to see what you guys are saying. Um, people in IGN are brain dead. Yeah, bro. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like people in IGN. Very, very few times I, I like their reviews. Um, I'd rather go for more independent content creators who actually play the games. Um, not that they, not that IGN doesn't actually play the games. It's just, I don't like the way they they, they go on their takes. Sometimes it can, it can feel like agenda based, like days gone um and it yeah man i nah nah i'm not even gonna get into that but nah i, I don't like ign that much anymore uh well, probably i've never done but you know what can you do about it uh better than original uh, hopefully it's better than the original bro hopefully it's better than the original uh that looked good bro that pff. the underwater the underwater sequence looks absolutely amazing if you guys are seeing it right now wow I can't wait for them to release the 4K footage. Cause that's gonna look that's gonna look crisp as fuck, bro. Jesus. Um can't wait for this. Maybe I will change my mind. I didn't like the first game. I mean, already it looks ten times better. And on top of that, the I um I don't know if you guys saw, but they had um a little sequence in which they were talking. Let me I think I can show it right here. It was like a little cutscene right here. This. The way the way in Horizon Zero Dawn, the way that they did that dialogue, I didn't like. It, it kind of, it felt so unrealistic. Not, not unrealistic, it just, it broke the immersion for me. And I couldn't get hooked for, uh, with these characters completely because of it. It just felt distracting. Um, but the way, you know, they're speaking, it feels way more cinematic, which in my opinion feels way more immersive. Um, so yeah, that's that's a good thing about it. Let me see if I can, yeah, it's in 1080p. Okay. So before I leave, I just want to read some some things before I leave, guys, because I have to go back to work. Um, yeah, let me see. It looks incredible. Gameplay seems incredible. Uh, combat is astonishingly good. Uh, most probably going to be a masterpiece. Hopefully, is a masterpiece at least in the in the audio, combat, and graphics. It looks it looks fire. It looks pretty pretty good. Um, and I can't I. I can't believe this is going to run on a PlayStation 4, man. Imagine the PlayStation 5 version. It's, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Um, the world was interesting, but the story didn't grip me. Yeah, I, I can understand that part. 100%, bro. 100%. I, I kind of felt that way as well. I did kind of feel that way. Um, a little complicated for me, probably because I haven't played the first game. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, if you guys haven't played the first game, you guys should. I it constantly goes on sale for like 10 bucks on the PlayStation store. Um and actually that's how my brother got it and that's how I played it. If you guys have any friends that played Horizon Zero Dawn, please try it cuz it's pretty good. It's it's a pretty good open world game. The story isn't the best, but it's still a very fun experience and um it pushes the PlayStation 4's graphics to I mean, it pushes the PlayStation 4 it's not to its limits, but it pushes it. So it looks pretty pretty good and it feels good too the gameplay is absolutely uh, it's absolutely incredible um can video games get any better of course they can bro Oof. there's so much so much that um that games can improve on and the graphics are just going to get better and better i don't i don't believe that it is ever going to be let me let me put it here so at least you guys can hear something 
but I don't think game um, games are going to actually become as real life as a lot of people really think it might be. Um, it's it, I, I don't know if we'll we'll ever have the technology for that point for now, um, but at the moment it just looks absolutely incredible. And I, I feel like if they actually just make it way too realistic. It takes away the video gamey aspects of it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say about that. But this this looks almost photorealistic, which is incredible. Compare. Let's say comparing this to The Last of Us Part Two, this looks. This probably. This, I don't know. I have to see the 4K footage, but this might. This probably might surpass it. it, it it's 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 incredible. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. What do you guys think about the um um about this gameplay sequence did you like it did you dislike it are you um do you feel uh that this might surpass the last of us part two in in the in the graphic department so you know it's getting a play, playstation 5 version so i don't know the original game dialogues were like mafia 3 yeah that's why i didn't like it that much man I don't like it that much. I like more of a. If you're gonna give me a a, a open world game, um, you're gonna type. If you're gonna tell me a story in general, mostly I I like more cinematic type of games. Um, I gotta be careful. That's where I I feel like I I connect way better. Now, if it's a role print a role playing game, I guess that's different. Um, but um, I don't know. I guess I just prefer more cinematic story-based games and cinematic cutscenes. I don't know. That's just me, man. A lot of people don't like it that way, but I like it this way way better. Because I I, I know I remember in um, Horizon Zero Dawn, you have to choose your own dialogue and, you know, what you want to know more. But that kind of just takes the immersion away from me. I'd rather just them do it themselves and that's it. I don't know. I, I guess it's just me, man. Um, and I think there's like 36 people actually watching the stream right now. Thank you so much for uh, for joining. If you guys can, please like the video. Please like the stream. I really great. I'll greatly appreciate it, guys. I really, really will. Um, let me see. Let me let me. Right now, I'm actually working and actually doing the stream with you guys. <laughs> so that's why I'm a little. I look a little bit distracted. But if there's any questions you guys have for me, please let me know and I'll start reading them for you. Um, so just put it down here. And just let me do this real quick. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. If this game is so good, God of War will be destruction. We'll just... Well, just destruction in game of the year, <laughs> bro. If God of War comes out this year, it's taking it. It's taking the God of the game of the year, like, like without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but if it doesn't come out this year, probably this game could be a strong contender because it looks great, man. I just hope the story is good and it can immerse me to the point where I can say it's good. Um, hopefully, you know. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, Don says, uh, uh, awesome gameplay, awesome channel as well. Yo, thank you so much, Don. I really appreciate it, man. I really, really do, man. Um, Muhammad says, are you excited for God of War? That's the game I can't... Bro, that's the game I can't wait for. That God of War 1... Uh, not God of War 1. Uh, God of War 2018 is one of my favorite games of all time. Simple. Like, it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, if Ragnarok comes out this year, you know I'm literally milking milking god of war content like it's one of my favorite games of all time so i have to like i'm gonna talk about that game non-stop and hopefully you know i'm gonna start talking about horizon zero dawn more as well i can't wait for that too so hopefully we get a release date so i can plan the content out and just talk about this uh because i can't wait bro i cannot wait um let me see what you guys are saying in the comments uh when do you think factions will come out for the last of us part two bro <laughs> I was talking with um, with Deccan, and we were we were speculating, you know, and we we were like, you know, this probably probably it could come for the Last of Us Day, you know, the outbreak day. Hopefully, if it comes out that day, 
um, it makes the most sense. So that's my opinion. I feel like it could come that day, but don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it <laughs> at all. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it comes out by the end of this year because I'm, I'm desperate for that, man. I'm desperate for factions. Because if, if we get factions, I'm also milking it. I'm, bruh, if we get factions, I'm live streaming every day if i can every day if i can and i'll and i'll hopefully i can actually you know have you guys play with me in factions that would be actually amazing uh, i'll i'll provide you guys with my uh playstation id so we can uh we can have like some team ups and stuff like that and just have fun that would be great <laughs> that would be absolutely amazing uh no chance god of war to come out this year i think yeah i mean i know for a fact it's gonna get delayed every single game in history gets delayed now so there's no way it's not going to be delayed. It's going to be delayed for at least 2022. And I wouldn't even be surprised if it goes down to 2023. Like, I wouldn't be fucking surprised at all. Um, that would make sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, Factions 2, bro. It, it has to... That would be great if they can announce it soon. Or can they just say, hey, look, Factions 2 is going to be available for the last of his day. So, you know, get your... Uh, I don't know if they're going to make us purchase it. Which probably it could be. Hopefully not. Um, but you know. Wait one second. One second. Let me take the let me take the audio out right away. Is there any other questions you guys have? Um, you know, I'm I, I probably could I probably could do this while I work, hopefully. I would love to speak with you guys a little bit more. Uh, but I might be a little bit distracted, so just uh keep me uh keep commenting whatever you guys want to say whatever you guys want to ask me about the horizon zero dawn or horizon forbidden west please put it down there and if you guys can please like the video as well um but yeah i'm gonna be like multitasking basically so that's basically what i'm trying to do here um what what the factions is it multiplayer for the last of us part two yeah it's multiplayer for the last of us part two i don't know if you I've uh, played the multiplayer for The Last of Us 1, um, but uh, it's basically that. I, I don't know if they're going to add anything new from it um, or they're going to make like their own little... I don't know. I, I, I hear it's a big project, um, so hopefully it's something like super nice. And it's not just the same rehash from Factions 1, you know. Um... I feel like it's gonna oh i feel like it's gonna be way more brutal fractions 2 is gonna be brutal bro like like, like you let's say like you, you sneak back on somebody and you're like Chah. they're gonna be like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like that's gonna be it, it is gonna be brutal it is freaking gonna be brutal like you 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 put a shotgun on their head and their head just blows everywhere like it's gonna be so gory it's gonna be incredible uh you know we're buying factions if they make us pay for of course bro you know i i, I know i know that kind of sucks that we gotta spend way more money to even do the, all these things but it's sony's a company bro they what they want is money and they know they're gonna get they're gonna milk us out for it because they know we love it and well i i'm not gonna act like i don't want it so yeah i am buying it if they make us pay for it but i i doubt it's gonna be, if they make us pay for it i doubt it's gonna be too expensive I don't think it's going to be like like a lot, a lot of money. I, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. But what do you guys think? If Factions 2 comes out, how much might it cost? 20 bucks to, you know, for the whole multiplayer? Uh, 30? I don't think I don't think it's going to be a 60 or 70. Like, that's outrageous. There's no way they're going to do that just for a multiplayer game. There's no freaking way. There's no, there's no way. And if they do, then I'm looking like a fool right now because I just said no way. Um... Balaji, I think that's how I say your name, bro. I'm sorry, I'm not good with names, bro. I think this game has uh players to use all tech and methods to play more interesting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. That's 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 what you're saying, right? Uh Razim. Uh, but it's only fear to pay for someone's work. Um there might be. Yeah, I mean I wouldn't mind paying for it because if it's if the experience is worth it, then yeah, why not, man? Why not? Plus, a lot of people are getting, on, uh, I think, The Last of Us Two for like thirty bucks right now. So yeah. Wait, what? Oh. 
Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. Call of Duty is always they always make you pay. That was my wife. Like she asked me if like um Call of Duty you have to pay for it, but it comes with a story game and then they give you multiplayer, but they make you spend like 60 70 bucks for it. That's why. What? Ghost of Tsushima. That was the yeah, Ghost of Tsushima was a story-based game and then and then and then they added multiplayer for free. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, she yeah, it's Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, that that's the wife. <laughs> that's the wife was asking. Um if they add a fee on it, would it be cool to add a DLC like Left Behind on it together with factions? Yeah, that would be more more understandable. Cause I, I don't I don't I mean multi that would that would be more understandable. I would pay twenty bucks for that. Twenty. Thirty. Pro probably thirty, but not not more than that. There's no way they're gonna make us pay thirty bucks. No, sorry, seventy bucks or sixty bucks for multiplayer. Like I know that's not even gonna work. A lot of people are gonna be like, ah, but it's it's probably not gonna work as well as they think. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. That's the baby. Um it does not look like next gen to me, only a tuned version of PlayStation 4 because that's what it is. And those 30 frames per second on PlayStation 5 again. Yeah, man, that's how it is. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't look good because it's compressed. It's it, extremely compressed. Um, and it's 1080p streamed. So it's, there's no way the game is going to be showed at, to its full potential. There's no way. Um, so of course it looks like this. So whenever they release a 4K version, that's going to be there and playing it on your PlayStation, even on PlayStation 4 Pro, let's say it's 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 going to look miles way, 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 way better than what you're ever going to see on YouTube. I can upload a 4K um, video with as least compression as possible, right? But because YouTube has a certain way in which they compress videos, it usually takes the quality away and you're never going to experience it how it's supposed to be. So, of course, it's not it doesn't look as good. Um, but the moment everything gets polished and you get, and you put it on your PlayStation, it's going to look absolutely amazing. Plus PlayStation 4 version, PlayStation 5 version, there is a big difference. Like if you see Miles Morales for PlayStation 4 compared to PlayStation 5, there is a lot of difference. I mean, not like super big difference, but it, 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 it makes it way more distinct, you know? Um, and you can actually see it. Um, let me see. What do you think about an Uncharted 5? I don't think that's ever going to happen, bro. Oh, I mean, you know, it, it's it's something that, you know, we, I think about, like, should we get an Uncharted 4, 5, sorry, but Nathan Drake's story is done. Uh, Nathan is what made Uncharted super successful and super loved. So I don't know what else they can have an excuse for us to go for Uncharted. Because, like, for example, Nate... Now he's, you know, leading into, like, he's strictly, you know, doing legal stuff. So he doesn't, like, go, he, he's not going back to his old ways. And I don't think his daughter is going to go through that as, you know, the way he used to do before. Probably because she found those things and she might be, like, wanting to uh, look for ad adventures and stuff like that. But I don't think, I don't think it's going to happen. But if it does, I trust Naughty Dog to make a great story because i know i know for a fact they will do great on that i know for a fact they're, they're just naughty dog <laughs> they 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 they, ha they look they they had an excuse to make the last of us 2 um uh, and ricks and like literally risked uh destroying what i can say was the last of us one that in my opinion is the the best story i've ever seen in a video game and they succeeded in doing a good sequel in my opinion and if there's a is there, if there's a company I know can make a good sequel and can bump up the graphics and make it as immersive as possible, it's Naughty Dog. So I know they're gonna do a good job for that if they ever make um an Uncharted Five. Um, it's cross gen PlayStation Five exclusive games will look much better. Can't even imagine, bro. I've I was hearing that you know there that um what is it? Uh, God of War might be uh almost confirmed to be a playstation 5 exclusive oh i know i know some of you don't have a playstation 5 man but hopefully by that time when the game comes out you do have a playstation 5 i cannot wait to see what's gonna happen and how that game is gonna look compared to like if it was you know cross-gen playstation 4 and playstation 5 that game i'm for sure bro i 
let's say The Last of Us Part 2, the 3 doesn't ever come out. I know for a fact God of War is still going to be it. it it's going to be a perfect game, bro. It's going to be a perfect game. But not, not, not perfect, but you know. What? Yeah, I know. But it's that's the way you have to sacrifice that to make way better quality games. You know? Because the PlayStation 4 is just going to hold it back. But it, it, then they won't be able to do certain things that only can happen in PlayStation 5. Yeah. Yeah, but that's how it is. That's how it is, man. Hopefully this pandemic just can get sorted, man. And everybody can start buying a PlayStation 5 because it's crazy, man. I hope all of y'all can get a PlayStation 5 because I know it's crazy. I, I know it's crazy out there. I know it's crazy, man. I'm so sorry for you guys that can't get it. Um, Do you think Ragnarok is the last uh, God of War game? Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know, but it could possibly be. It could possibly be. Do you, do you think Kratos is going to die in that one? So I, I I know a lot of people were like, you know, oh, they might they might go for the Last of Us Part 2 way and killing Joel. So th now they're going to kill Kratos. <laughs> What what is the equivalent of a golf club in uh in in the God of War universe? I don't know. I really don't know. Um how does this look so real? I don't know, man. You got to ask Sony. You got to ask Gorilla, bro. They they're doing such an amazing job with this game. It looks amazing. Like I I know you guys are seeing it right now. It looks fucking amazing, bro. And I pff, like, I know, I know the moment they released that 4K image, it's just going to be so, like, and when we can see everything more clearly. If it looks this good, look, if it looks this good being super compressed on a stream, I can't wait to see how it's going to, oh shit, I moved it. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's 4K and we get to see it. I cannot wait. Uh, dude, I can't wait for GTA 5 on PlayStation 5. I'm not triple dipping, bro. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not triple dipping. I'm not triple. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's people that are gonna triple dip, but I'm not triple dipping, bro. I'm okay with my PlayStation 4 version. I haven't played GTA 5 in a minute, so I mean, I, I wouldn't care that much for that game. Um, but I know there's a lot of people that wanna play that game. Wait, you know what? Should I get place? Should I get GTA Five PlayStation Five? Are you guys interested in that? Because I mean, I'll play it for you guys and I'll make videos about it. Because that game is like the most milked game in history. Um, but I don't wanna. I don't know, man. I just don't feel like I wanna waste my money on that because I already have the PlayStation Four version. I know it might look better, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I wanna triple dip. I really don't, because I got the PlayStation 3 version and the PlayStation 4 version, and I don't know. I don't know if I want if I want to triple dip. I really don't know. Um, I fear it comes for PlayStation 4 as well. It might end up like Cyberpunk. I fear if it comes for PlayStation 4. No, I mean, no, it's Sony. It, it's it, it's a different thing, man. Sony, Sony will never, never, never release a game in this state of Cyberpunk 2077. I can bet on that. I can bet on that. They'd rather delay the hell out of the game before lying to the consumers. Because they know. The moment they do that, they got the competition. Microsoft being like, oh, you see, well, look, look what Sony did. Oh, look what Sony... Nah, man. After what happened with Cyberpunk, no one, no one, no one, no one, no one will ever try to pull the same shit off. I, I promise you. Probably, of course, it's going to be a little bit downgraded compared to the PlayStation 5 version. Of course. That's... There's no, there's no denying that, um, but it's not going to be as drastic and there's not, it's not going to have the, the same things that happened with Cyberpunk 2077. I can guarantee, I can guarantee they Cyberpunk 2077 is going to, is going to go down in history as the lesson to everyone who ever, ever dared to do some, some shit like this. I promise you that. Um, let me see. Yeah, don't know about GTA. Yeah, man. I I mean, I wanna I wanna see it, and uh, hopefully one of my friends or my brother or anybody triple dips on that. <laughs> I don't want to spend seventy bucks on that, man. I really don't. I really, really don't. I'd rather save that money for other PlayStation Five exclusives or 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 any other games that I want to get. Um, I don't want to triple dip on that game. I feel like that's wasting my money. 
completely. I'd rather get the I'd rather get the PC version and see if I can get it on sale and just play it that way. Yeah, no. no. I was ironic. Honestly, can't name another game milked as much as a GTA 5 being released on three different generation consoles. Man, I, I don't think we're ever going to see GTA 6 for a long ass time, man. If if GTA 5 becomes as successful as the PlayStation 4 version, I don't think we're seeing GTA 6 for a long ass time. Plus, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out three years ago. Three? 2021, right? 2020, 19. Yeah, three years ago. Yeah, nah. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's gonna it's gonna be a few years from now. Ooh man, it's gonna be a few years from now. Probably almost by the end of the of the PlayStation 5 cycle. I can guarantee that. They're not gonna do anything for now. Uh, next God of War games uh, could be about Kratos' son, but it might not be so interesting. I mean, it's it's gonna have both of them. They, I mean, the God of War works because of Kratos, um, and his son Atreus. He's interesting. He was annoying. He was kind of annoying. He was like father, father. <laughs> <laughs> but but um. Hopefully he's a bit, he, he's older in this case. I can't stand that voice sometimes. I mean, I love that cat. I want to punch him, but still, you know, I don't know. Uh, ho hopefully they, they, they explore a more mature Atreus and Kratos. That would be actually pretty interesting. I don't think they will kill Kratos after looking at The Last of Us Part 2. Yeah, man. If they, I, don't, I don't think anyone wants to take that risk again. I don't think anyone will ever want to do that again. Because it's, it, like I said, it kind of shows how the community are always like hey you know let's uh let's create stories that are unique or way different than what the normal media is the moment it happens look at the outrage you know it only it only joe only had to die by a strong woman right just for everybody to think it's an sg doe propaganda that's how easy it is to make people think this way what can you do about it? That's kind of sad, man. It could have started, in my opinion, it could have started um, a trend of more risky stories and more interesting stories instead of, you know, having certain stories that just kind of don't don't risk and don't don't go the next level. Um, it's not not necessarily killing a main character means it's like um, it has to be that way, but. Um, I don't know. I don't know. When I play Cyberpunk 2077, I remember the story. Everybody's like, oh, it's going to be the most groundbreaking story ever. It's going to be the best and everything. Uh, and the story was meh to decent at, at, at best. You know, it was a good story, but it wasn't, it wasn't good. You know, it wasn't like, it, it just, it felt safe. It felt safe in my opinion. Most stories are safe. Days gone. It's a safe story. I'm not going to lie. It's still a fantastic game. But, but you know, everything else makes it fantastic. But it's not like the most groundbreaking story. In my opinion, The Last of Us Part 2 is one of those games that just simply said, fuck what everybody thinks. We're going to go ballistic. And they chose, they chose violence with that game. And yeah, they did. It was, it was, it was something else, man. It was something else um any other questions you guys might have you know keep talking because i'm i'm gonna keep working i work until 6 30 so i got 40 more minutes and i gotta complete something here um so if you guys want to keep talking with me uh let's chill until uh until the, we can do more if not then i'll, I'll probably end the stream in a bit but if you guys still want to keep chatting keep chatting keep asking me questions until you guys are interested i, I could say <laughs> Um, when would the HBO, oh, sorry, I, I didn't see this. Um, that was a bold move. Why not? Uh, Wrangle says, boy, boy, <laughs> I think the last of us remake will be true master uh, remaster. Yeah. I think they might add some certain things probably, but not, not that much that might distraught the story. Um, distraught what the hell did i say there um that might change the story it's just gonna add more context probably uh would you prefer the last of us part three or uncharted uh five honestly the last of us part three i'd rather have that I, I think uncharted ended in such a perfect way in my opinion 
to the point where it just doesn't need uh, an Uncharted 5. While The Last of Us Part 2, I feel like that game still needs one more game so we can finally put it to rest, you know? So we can finally have a nice trilogy of that story and then done. That's, that's, that's my opinion, at least. Um, I'd rather have The Last of Us Part 3 and see how they're going to end the story with Ellie and Abby. It will be interesting, of course, to see. Let me see. Fuck. Okay. What? There we go. Okay. Um, what else are you guys are saying? Um... If Joel died in a cliche, uh, cliche Hollywood de Hollywood style, people would call The Last of Us Part Two the best game ever. Yeah, it's uh, bro, it's how it is, and I understand. You know, people uh, loved Joel. He was like a father figure for a lot of people. People connected with him, um, but it wouldn't suit The Last of Us Part Two. It just wouldn't. It wouldn't suit the the way The Last of Us Part Two is and the way the universe goes for. It's a ruthless universe. <laughs> Nobody is safe, and that's what that's what I love about that game. Um, although I didn't want Joel to die, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't want Joel to die that way. I really didn't. Um, but I'm really happy that Naughty Dog took risks, and that they showed that even though they did this, which was kill a character we all love, um, that they still brought other characters that, not that we personally engaged as well as Joel, but that we could understand them, that they gave us, they'd rather show us more uh, humanity at, at its worst than just pretend like, you know, all these characters have all the plot armor in the world and that no matter what they do, it's not, they're not going to have consequences. That's what I like about the game. It actually feels like everything you do in the game has true stakes. And that you don't know what's going to happen to Ali in The Last of Us Part 3. You don't know what's going to happen to Abby in The Last of Us Part 3. Um, probably she might get hunted down and killed by Tommy. You really don't know. Like, it's there's so many things that the the series in the in Part 2, it made it feel like nobody is safe. So it doesn't matter where what characters you go in the future with The Last of Us. You know for a fact they're never going to be safe. <laughs> Ellie's two fingers are not even were not even safe, bro. They didn't those two fingers didn't have plot armor, <laughs> and she can't she can't play the guitar anymore. So yeah, man, it's true true consequences for for anybody. Abby lost everyone she loved, her father, uh, and she didn't even do anything wrong. I mean, and then after well, after she killed Joel, um, she lost uh she lost Manny, she lost Mel, she lost her loved one Owen. I hate when people say like, oh, she didn't lose anything. Ellie lost everything, but but look at Abby. Abby went scot-free. No, she didn't. She lost everyone. Absolutely everyone except Mel. Uh, Lev. Like, that's something that I'll never understand how people cannot see that. But oh well. That's how it is, man. That's how people are. Sometimes they really don't look um, or analyze. Um... When is the HBO series release? I don't know, bro. But they say that probably by the end of 2022, they're gonna film in the summer. Or in the summer of 2021, they're gonna stop next year. So hopefully by the end of 2022, beginning 2023, we might get the HBO show, and hopefully by that time we get the remaster version. Um, in the world of Last of Us, you don't get heroic deaths. Anybody can die. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, people want another The Last of Us 1 with Joel and Ellie with a new adventure and probably Joel dying in a very heroic death. Yep, exactly. Uh, they want to... Oh, wait. Ice Ice Baby, you're... You're the smite player, right? Wait, I'm confused there. Uh, what would you do if Sony uh, somehow fucks up Ragnarok? Well, if they somehow uh kind of fuck up one of my favorite games of all time i'm not bro i'm not gonna act like all these other youtubers that you know rage but i'll be disappointed and i'll make sure that everybody knows i'm disappointed i'll just say i'll just show why am i disappointed why it doesn't work and whatever if they just don't do a good job with it hopefully they do um, but I, I trust Sony that they can do a good job with God of War. All, almost all, not almost, all the God of Wars that they've shown um, are decent to 
masterpiece. So, I have no doubts that they'll do a good job. They've done it in the past. I know they can do it now. Um, and Sony just looks... It, they don't look like they're slowing down, man. They look like they want to keep going. And hopefully, hopefully, man. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm proven right that the, uh, that God of War comes out to be an amazing game. Um, it, it, let's say it's decent. Let's say Let's say it's decent and it's not the best game ever. So... If it's fun and I like the story and everything, and I'm immersed, that's all. It's not like every single game that comes out has to be a goddamn masterpiece, man. It could be a decent game. Horizon Zero Dawn for the like the it's not a masterpiece, but it's a, it's a fantastic game. It's great. It's not that bad. Days Gone, not a masterpiece, but still a good game. I like enjoyable games. It doesn't have to be the best game ever made, man. It really doesn't. I, I hate when, you know, there's people that, um, I'm not saying you or anybody, but I'm saying like, I hate when there's some people that if a game is not 10 out of 10, or it's not the best game ever, then they, they call the game trash. Nah, man, come on. Come on, man. Even the biggest, most ambitious games ever, it doesn't, it just doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't, man. People get so, so frustrated and so into their emotions when they... When they see that a game probably isn't better than the first game. So, if it's enjoyable, fine, bro. It doesn't have to be the best. Not every sequel comes out to be better. Look at The Last of Us Part 2. In my opinion, I still prefer the first story of The Last of Us. I still prefer it. Um, overall, the whole game itself is better. But I still prefer the story. Does that... Just because the story is a little bit... I don't... I don't just because I don't like the story as much as the first one doesn't make it bad? No. No, it just does not. Does that mean that I don't have to enjoy my experience? No, of course not, man. I can enjoy whatever I want. And I know for a fact that people who who just act like it's not a uh, if it's not a masterpiece is shit. That probably those those are the ones who don't even play games, man. I I and I'm not saying you guys just I want to reiter reiterate that. It's just Twitter. Twitter's crazy, bro. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter. They ask for perfection, but probably those are the same people that don't don't even play these games, man. For like for sure, for sure, man. Um, I think uh, games and movies are made so they're they're different from real life. So important people should die that easily. Um, Wrangle, weird Kirk Ellie will learn to play clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> oh you cheeky bastard um let me see all right guys uh let me check here i don't know i don't know if you guys are okay with me just zoning out for a while because i gotta i gotta complete some work here um but you know what you know actually no i, I gotta complete some work i'm sorry it's it's just you know I'm, I'm actually like when i'm speaking to you guys i'm doing my work at the same time um, but there, I have to I have a little deadline that I have to go through right now. Uh, but if there's any last questions you guys might have, please let me know. Um, and I'll check them out for you guys and I'll talk to you right now. If there's anything you guys want to ask me, please let me know. Um, also, I think there's like 31 people right now. If you guys can hit that like button before you guys leave. And, um, let me just read the last chats because I'm actually going to leave in the next two minutes. So yeah, um, cause I got to do some stuff. But, um, but, but, but it was enjoyable to have you guys here. It was great. I really appreciate you guys coming through. And I was, I was also going to say something else. Um, stay tuned for future things I have planned. I have, uh, you know, that the last of us two has, is going to become and the, the first universe anniversary is going to come soon. So I'm preparing a special video for that. So stay tuned. You guys are the first ones to know, but stay tuned for that. Cause that's going to be a special video. And if you guys don't, uh, if you guys have Twitter, please follow me at Twitter at true AP gaming. Uh, you'll find it in the description. I don't know in the description down below, or just look for the social media tabs here in my channel. Follow me on, on true AP gaming, uh, where I'm going to give you guys, um, what's it called updates for that video because it's a super 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 special video i'm preparing uh for you guys and for the last of us community just to remember the last of us part two um but yeah i'm gonna read the last couple of chats and i'm gonna leave guys because i gotta i gotta do this if not then i'm fucked <laughs> i gotta i gotta finish this deadline right here um let me see exactly all the god of wars uh were the best uh when do you think the next spider-man game is coming out probably in two three years 
probably that that's just me thinking man that's just me thinking but hopefully soon hopefully soon uh, that's why i call uh messy standards when he scores 40 goals a season and not 60 like usual people say he's finished yeah yeah bro <laughs> like th those people are just idiots bro idiots uh, i like the last of us too on an emotional level yeah man me too bro um, not to take away anyone's opinion, but when you, uh, just hate because you don't understand, it seems one-sided, it would be better to analyze like you say. Yeah. Uh, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, hey, Ace Bar, Ace Bar Porler. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that message. I really, really do. Um, you know what? I'm going to try, I'm going to try to, I love, I love chatting with you guys. You guys are amazing. I'm going to try to see if I can keep it, if I can just work, finish my work while I speak with you guys, because I'm just getting distracted, but, but, um, let me see. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Keep talking with me, man. I, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. But yeah, keep, keep putting it in the, in the chat, whatever you guys want to, uh, whatever you guys want to talk to me or whatever you guys want to say to me, um, I'll read it out and, uh, we'll go from there, guys. Let me just put a little bit of audio here so you guys can just see the gameplay. Um, I'll be a little bit busy for the next couple like of minutes, but but don't don't mind me. Just watch the gameplay. Keep talking with me, and I'll keep responding back to you guys. All right. Twelve forty six. Sixteen, God damn, bro. So this time. Keep making awesome videos. Thank you, Alicia Clark. Really appreciate it. I really, really do. Uh, Rangel, greetings from Bulgaria. Hey, uh, let me know in what country you guys are from. I think there's like 36 people in the chat. If you guys can, please leave me a like in, in the stream. That would be greatly appreciated. All you 36 guys, if you guys can, I really, really will appreciate it. But let me know in the chat. What country are you guys from? What What countries are you guys from? Please let me know uh, what game you chose if you want to speed run something. That's a good question. I'll let you know in a bit. I'll let you know in a bit. From Chile. Nice, man. You always said a storm was coming. Yeah. And it's almost here. So there you have it, the first gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West running on PlayStation 5. We hope you are as excited about it as we are. While we have you here, we would like to spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. And to help with that, please welcome Ben McCaw, Narrative Director on Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks Matthijs, and hello to all our viewers. Horizon Forbidden West is set a thousand years in Earth's okay. future after a global catastrophe. Um, People live on and um, well, I have my mom is Dominican, my dad is Peruvian, but I was born here in the States, so I guess that makes me an American. <laughs> I think so. Wait, give me one second. I gotta look for my charger. One second, guys. A strange red blight is spreading across the land, and it won't be long before it strangles all life. Aloy, our hero is the only one who can stop the blight. But to do that, she and her companions will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. In this quest, Aloy has sent her loyal friend, Aaron, into the remains okay, of San Francisco. Okay, it's gonna see me well here now, right? Yes, no? Aaron All right, we good, we Gucci. Um, Mandolin, they are vicious hey dude, worse, United States. I'm from Cuba, living in Miami, Florida. Hey, nice, Felix. Nice, bro. My family wants to move to Florida. My family wants to move to Florida. Um, so bad. Like, they're crazy to move over there. Um, and I was thinking about it, actually. But, you know, 
Uh, I don't know if I if I'll, if I'll be able to in the future, but hopefully, hopefully that can happen. Um, but you know what, guys? It be, yeah, you know what? I actually think I will have to leave. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. I have to stop. Um, to finish this because I gotta concentrate 100%. Um, but uh, leave in the chat again where you guys are from. Um, hopefully later in the future we can connect a little bit more and hopefully there's more content I can go out soon um, and I'm actually hopefully I can do a part three for the last of us part two that I, I did part two uh, was it a few days ago so I still haven't finished the game so I want to stream it again um, so hopefully you guys can join me very very soon for that um, I'll do that very soon if you guys want to watch me play the last of us part two uh, Benetto he's from Jamaica what's up bro and I think the last message I'll read yeah you guys are the opposite of the League of Legends community if you know what I mean yeah leagues of, leagues of legends bro nah <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for coming I really really appreciate you guys Alicia thank you so much take care um guys thank you so much leave a like in the video subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully we can have more content ready for you guys in the near future and hopefully i can also do a stream in the weekend i really want to stream the last of us part two again probably on friday i'll be able to do that um friday that will isn't that tomorrow yeah tomorrow <laughs> yeah let, let's make sure that i can do it for tomorrow so if you guys want to join me join me all right and we can just play the last of us part two so i'm basically giving you guys a little alert there i'm gonna play the last of us part two tomorrow uh part three for that game so take care guys love you guys thank you so much for joining and i hope you guys have a fantastic day leave of course i'll read later on if you guys can um where you guys are from um and we'll go from there because i want to see where's my audience base from i want to see uh, from what parts of the world you guys are from that would, that would be actually amazing to see uh but yeah guys thank you so much uh felix thank you man rango have a nice day weird kirk have a nice day alicia again have a nice day thank you so much guys and again <laughs> have a nice day all right just one of the mysteries she'll unravel as her journey through the forbidden west takes many